Hi everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I'm going to show you a few basic tips on working with a timeline. So if you've just started working with Storyline, the timeline can really help you in your uh, building process. So I'm going to go to one of my projects. This is the latest challenge where you had to create your own challenge and I created an interaction based on movie credits from the movie The Heat, which isn't that great, but the credits were really cool. So. I had um, lots and lots of objects on, this, on each slide and layer and I had to be careful to manage them well. So first things first, when you start a project generally this is how the screen will look by default. The timeline is down here in this panel and together with that you've got the states panel and the notes panel but that's for another video. So the timeline is there and it'll be visible. If you want to close it to give you a bit more space on the screen then you can use this little arrow on the right and the timeline disappears and you've got a little bit more space to work with. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to bring it up. So one of the really useful things um, with Storyline 2 is that you can actually undock this whole panel um, so that you can work on the screen a bit better. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This little icon there with two boxes will undock the timeline. See how it's become its own um, panel that is separate from from the interface. So I'm going to leave that there for a second and what I'll do with these down here is I'm going to hide them and then that gives me a little bit more space on the screen to work with. So that's how you undock the panel. If you want to bring it back where it was, all you need to do is click that again it'll go back. And of course it's not showing at the moment because we had hidden that but you can bring it back up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and undock it again and now I've got it here and the other really cool thing about this is that you can actually change the size of the panel. So what I'm showing you here is all done on one screen but I have two screens that I work on so I'll have this timeline huge and all open in the other screen and then I'll have my file that I'm working on on, on the second screen so it becomes very handy. Now as you can see here I've got lots and lots of objects on this slide and, I've, and they're all timed um, in terms of how they come in and there's a lot of animation happening and things coming in and going out so the timeline is really useful to manage that and when you first start a project this, the timeline will look roughly like this you can see the seconds up here and they're divided into quarters however I had animations here that were really close to each other you can see that this object uh, there this one the next one comes in only a quarter of a second after this one and I wanted to get that really accurate so you can use the zoom down here you can use the zoom to make that um, a lot um, a lot bigger if you like so now you can see that each second ha is divided into eight segments and it makes it a bit easier to move your objects around and to really line them up to the the point that where you want them now the other thing that's useful here in the timeline is that you can if you're on um, sorry I'm going to move that out of the way if you're on your screen there you can move objects uh, by using the arrange uh, keys so you can you know bring something f to the front or send it backward and, and whatnot however if you work in your timeline you can do that very easily simply by by dragging I'm just gonna put that back okay so if this one is on top of something that needs to be seen I can just easily drag it and reorder all my items however I like and that works really well it's very easy the only problem with this one here is that have a look on the le on the left all of my objects are very poorly named so I've got black bar bar 5 and they're actually not not terrible but um, they could be much better named so I'm going to show you a different slide or a layer rather here we go now you can see that this one is much better because on the left I can see exactly what each of these items is so I've got role I know that's the title 
um, of the person, I've got the name, I've got the video, so everything is labeled really clearly and I know that I want, so I might say I want Amy Hunter to come in before Jess Archer, so I can just move them along the timeline and it's very easy and quick to do, you almost don't have to look at the slide when you're working like that. So they are, there are my tips for working with the timeline, how to open and close it, how to undock it and resize it, how to um, change the order of the objects on the slide or on the layer and how to zoom in the timeline. I hope that was helpful. Bye.